Scientists in Florida are on the cusp of developing promising methods to control toxic algae blooms, like the red tide that has been killing marine life along a 150-mile or 240-kilometer stretch of the Gulf Coast. Michael Crosby, President and Chief Executive of the Moat Marine Laboratory in Sarasota, welcomed a red tide emergency order issued this week by Governor Rick Scott, designating more state money for research, cleanup and wildlife rescues. According to U.S. News & World Report, this year's Gulf Coast Florida bloom is the worst in more than a decade.